Hey guys, it's Most Deaf Stuff back today with another tutorial. This is an original design of mine that I'm calling the Fairy Circle Bracelet. This is what it looks like. It is two-sided, however, it's really only wearable on this side as it doesn't really like to be turned around too well. You could try it, but like even as I'm doing it, it's twisting. So it's essentially on the other side, just a single chain with a frilly border. But this is the signature side anyways, so this is the um, wearable side, and it does kind of just want to crinkle up, like I called it like a snake uh, coiling when I was doing it, because I thought it was really funny. Um, but it does slide onto your wrist, you just kind of adjust it a little, and it will um, untwist itself if you put it on proper. And there's what it looks like on your wrist, so it's fine. It just likes to curl up when it's not. So anyways, let's just get started. This is a finger loom tutorial. Um, I'm not sure um, how you would set up your loom to get this close of a um, pattern. So you could try it on your loom, I guess, but it's kind of more of a finger loom tutorial. So you're going to start with the with your border bands. So my here are gold, I'm using white for these this time. You're gonna find, so if you look, it's hard to see online. There is right here, one without a hole in it. It actually just has the um, rainbow loom symbol. You're gonna wanna use this one as your center peg so you can remember because we're using all four pegs this time. It doesn't have arrows. So the three with the holes will be your side and back one and the one without the hole will be your front peg okay so we're going to take the white one twist it and go to the left take another white one go in the middle twist it and go to the right like so we're going to take an orange stretch it across the middle like that and press it down then we're going to take the purple and make a cap band in your center peg like so so this is what it should look like you've got the two white at the bottom your center color which is orange for me and your cap band which is purple for me and then you have the one on all the other pegs okay so first thing you're going to do is pull down your cap band now the interesting thing about this one is, is if you just kind of let it rest underneath these white bands, it's really easy to get the orange band. So you get the orange band, pull it back on itself so it's going towards the back, let go. Now we're just going to fix our cap band like this. Okay, and all we're going to do for this one is simply lift over these white bands here. Okay, like so. Now that we have that, we're going to relay our bands again, taking the white from the center to the left. There's no twisting this time. Press down, center to the right. Sometimes I like to just drop it and then pull it over. Press your bands down. Then we have to take our orange that goes from the center peg back to the back peg, like so. So that's what it should look like. Now we're going to take this cap band that's at the bottom here up and over on this one peg only and press down then we're going to take our purple band again and make a new cap band on your center peg like so Oops. we're going to take it the cap band down and just kind of tuck it under the yellow you can hold it with your finger sorry the white you can hold it with your finger as well. Take the orange band up and over and back upon itself to the back peg. Fix your cap band so it's back on top of the white. And now we're going to lift over the two white bands in the center. Like so. The one white band on both of the side pegs. So there's only one on each. Then we're going to turn it around. There's four on your back peg. You're going to take the bottom two up and over and press down so now we just have to start that pattern all over again so we're going to do 
the left peg to the center peg, like so. The center peg to the right peg, pressing down. The orange from the center to the back peg, pressing down. Now you're going to lift this purple one here, the old cap band, up and over on just this one peg. And then we're going to take a purple one again and make a cap band. You just twist once, like so. Pull the purple one down under the white one because it will hold it there. Kind of help you out a bit so it's not so tight. Lift the orange one back upon itself like so. Fix the cap band. And then we're going to take the bottom two white up and over. The white one on the left side. On the one on the left side. And then there's one on the right side that goes up. And then the ones in the back. It's two over and up so it's just the same pattern over and over again so again we're gonna lay the white to the left we're gonna lay the white oops to the right like so then we're gonna take the orange from the center peg to the back peg like that then we take the bottom cap band up and over and press down take another purple band add a cap band to your center one again your center one should be the one that doesn't have the hole in it as you can see these three do sorry guys my nose is a little runny today i think i might be getting sick again which i can't believe um pull the cap band down over the white like so getting just the orange Lifting it back onto itself. Now, see, my cap bands fix themselves this time, but if yours don't, just lift your cap bands up and over the white. Because we're going to take the white, the two white bands up and over the cap band. The one bottom white ones on the side come up. And then there's four bands in the back. And we're lifting the bottom two over the top, pressing down. And we're just going to keep doing this. I'll probably show you like two more times and then I'll show you how to finish it. So again, we're going from the center peg to the left. Pressing down. The center peg. To the right. Like so. The orange from the center to the back peg. And then we're lifting up the bottom purple cap bands. Up and over on just that one peg pressing down make sure that the orange is always on the top of the white do another cap band so I'm taking my purple and wrapping it around once on my middle peg which is a little tricky sometimes so just take your time taking your purple one and you can even do it this way I'll show you the other way I do it occasionally so I hold the bands down and then I lift it up like so that's a little more tricky that's why i show you mostly just leave it under the white and then lift this one up like so so now we're going to lift up the bottom two white bands here pressing down the one white band on the side the one white band on this side and then in the back with the four oranges we take the bottom two up and over pressing down now if you see you can actually see my design coming out a bit on the other side you get this really long um, start, so I'm not sure how to fix that. I've tried already. It didn't work for me. So just make sure when you're making the band that you count that as part of your length because I made mine a little long. So anyways, let's just keep going. So now we're back at the part where we lay our bands again. So we have white from the middle to the left. White from the middle to the right peg. Pressing down the orange from the middle peg to the back peg, pressing down. Then we're going to lift over this bottom purple band like so. See how my white band's coming up over my orange? I want to fix that a little. 
so that when I lay my cap band, which I'm going to do now, in the center peg, like so, push this down, grab my orange band that's on top, pull it back onto itself, fix my cap band so it's on top of the white bands. Now we're going to take the two white bands on the bottom, up and over, the white ones on the sides, up and over, and the orange ones, the two orange ones in the back, up and over. So I'm going to show you this one more time, and then I'm just going to show you how to close it. So white from the left to the center, white from the right to the center, pressing down, orange from the center to the back pin, pressing down. We're going to take these two bottom purple cap bands up and over on just this peg, pressing down. I'm going to put the cap band back on the middle one, press the cap band, just pull it down underneath the, uh, the white bands and let go. Get your orange one, pull it onto itself, like so. Fix your cap band so it's on top of the white ones. Like that. Take your two white ones up and over, like so. There's one on the right side and one on the left side. And then on this one in the back, you should have four. You're going to take the bottom two up and over. Okay, so now what we're going to do is to close this bracelet If once you get to the end. You're going to take your back two orange up and over the peg very carefully holding on and pull it over the front peg like so. And then the side two bands you bring in as well, just like so. Okay, and then we're going to take the two purple and the two orange. You can do it one, them one by one. I just did them all at once. And then you attach your C-clip to these two bands here. So that's what it looks like. That's what mine's turning out like. Okay, and it's very similar. It just depends on what kind, kind of bands you use. It's just kind of how it comes out. You could make it look more um, masculine or girly or however you want. So that's what it looks like. Again, this is my fairy circle bracelet. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm still going to try to come up with some other cool finger loom designs. And I'll definitely be back soon with another tutorial. Have a great day, guys. Bye.